It was meant to be a year embracing the friendship between two nations. But the run-up to the anniversary of normalizing ties between China and Japan has been dominated with scenes like these. An eruption of anger against Japan. Not only did the violence get out of hand, there was a sense of history as marchers held up banners of the revolutionary leader Mao Zedong, the father of the Communist Party who brought China back on its feet after the war. They go back to that period, and they go back to World War II, and they talk about Japanese uh, mistreatment and murder and all the terrible things that Japan did to China. So the Chinese are pretty, pretty stuck on the historical issue, I think. Old war wounds are opened up every time a Japanese head of state visits the Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo. It's a temple that honors the war dead. The resentment is passed down through the generations. Memories of Japan's atrocities during World War II are reinforced by China's anti-Japanese school curriculum. Even in the heart of Hong Kong's financial district, there are reminders of the war between the two countries. Across China, you'll find memorials to commemorate the war dead. This one has a special inscription dedicated to those who lost their lives during the Japanese invasion. In spite of their history, trade between the two countries have flourished. Worth $345 billion, Japan is China's second largest trading partner. But their trade ties are unraveling in the dispute over the islands. Some Japanese manufacturers are considering pulling out of mainland China amid calls for boycotts of Japanese goods. It's done little to ease the standoff over the islands. To be honest, maybe we can't solve the Diaoyu Island dispute in our generation. Let's leave it to our descendants. This is the basic way of the Chinese government. China normally clamps down on public anger. The anti-Japan protests could not have grown without government complicity. At a time when the Chinese hierarchy is going through change and facing a scandal within its ranks involving Bo Lai, a former senior Communist Party member, the dispute over the islands are a convenient distraction to keep the public focus on the issues outside of the country rather than within. Divi Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.